Hello there, this is Sifcat. This video is all about Apple's WatchOS app development. And this is my third episode of WatchOS full course. If you haven't watched my first two episodes, I have provided its link in my video description. Check that right now. Now, in this episode, we will take a look about introduction to a video player or a media player in WatchOS app development. Let's head over to it. First of all, I'm searching for my Xcode, right? And uh, I'm going to create a new Xcode project. And here you have options for a template to select your project. So in our case, I'm going to do here Watch OS. So I'm going to select here Watch App and click Next. And in this case, uh, user interface, I'm going Storyboard and uh, I'm going to name the product as video, sorry, movie, watch app. And uh, inside here, you can find here, this is checked include notification scene. I'm not going to use here a notification. So I'm going to uncheck this and click next. And I'm going to save in my eyes projects create you can see wherever you like it doesn't matter here we go and first of all what I'm going to do, go here is I'm going to head over to interface.storyboard and uh, this is our interface.storyboard which is similar like a main.storyboard for iOS mobile app and uh, here if you can find here the class methods it's already a interface controller class method which is linked over here and uh, you can find here interface controller which is pretty simple and uh, we are doing everything from scratch and we do have an extension delegate as well it's like a app delegate so i'm going back to this uh, interface of storyboard and what i am going to do is i'm going to click here with the object library i'm going to select search for a video or a movie so let's say a movie and uh, here uh, you can find here this WK interface movies. It displays a movie button and a poster image or that. So I can drag this movie into my uh, main dot storyboard, which is which is like interface dot storyboard. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and uh, create an IB outlet in, inside my Austin editor. All right, and let's make some space over here. And I'm going to click hit and press drag. And I'm going to name it as a movie player and click connect. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to bring a movie inside this Xcode project. It's a movie file and uh, so that we can play that movie inside WatchOS app. So let's do it. So I'm going to select for a file. Let's say sample.mobi file. I'm going to drag it inside this Xcode project and make sure that you copy items if need. Create groups and mark this all and check checked. All right. And click finish. Right. So we do have the file over here. Let's go back to this uh, movie controller and uh, what I'm going to do is inside this awake it's like a widget load I'm going to write pretty simple code which we can call or this we can make this movie play inside our watch hours so let's say let's bundle it will be equal to bundle and inside that I'm going to go for interface controller.sif file it's a self method and uh, then I'm going to let a constant which is for a URL let URL will be equal to bundle dot URL which is for uh, resource I would say a resource and the resource which we are using over here is the name of the file which we tracked and that's going to be a sample 
and with extension is asking for an extension so we do have an extension with mov file so i'm going type in here mov if it's for a mp4 you can type the extension as as it is so let's say movie player dot uh, set movie url will be equal to the url which we set there so it's the url and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select here the gravity of the movie player, which is uh, you can set the if you want to put if you want to play that movie inside the full screen you can make that as well. So let's say let set movie video gravity and uh, it's of kind the class is which using it property is wk video gravity dot. Uh, you can find here options like resize. If you select the resize, the movie will be playing in the full screen. If you want to resize aspect, you can change. It's optional. So here I'm going to select here resize aspect, and uh, let's. Uh, I'm here. I'm ha having here the I/O simulator, which is having the Apple Watch Series 2 for 2 mm. I'm going to run here and check uh, what we have done so far. The movie is running and here we go we have this uh, play button and if I click that it's running I can plus uh, I can pause as well I can uh, decrease the volume as well Done button as well. Finished. All right. So that's all uh, for a sound uh, for for doing in order to bring a simple video player inside WatchOS app development. And uh, we will try one more thing as we will head over to the interface dot storyboard. What I'm going to do is I want to press in this player as as a from button. So I'm going to click here and press delete and. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to this object library and looking for a button over here. And dragging here a button, and uh, if you can, it, it goes to the top because uh, we need to set here where we want to display that. So it's alignment. I'm going to select here a center. So the here you can find the button is now at the center. I'm going to name the title as start video let's make more space here all right start video so what i'm going to do next is i want to click here and when i click here on the start button i want to press on this video as a pop so i'm going to create here an iv action and i'm going to name the player as a button as for action start Tat. Let's connect that and we will head over to the interface controller which makes more space for you. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these two lines from here and uh, I'm going to paste it over here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type here if let condition because it will check whether this movie is inside there or not. And in from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type self dot present media player controller. Here we go. It's with the URL options. Okay, so it's a media present player controller, and I, I'm going to call this a uh, URL with the URL which we set there. And options, uh, I am having the option which is uh, for a WK media player controller. Auto play key yeah and going to set here true this property actually meant for the player we you want uh, auto play key or not that's why and uh, inside this completion I'm going to type here I'm going to bring a uh, few stuffs that's uh, we want to check whether it's uh, did play or bool so let's say did 
play to end and uh, here you need to check whether it's a it's the, the player played until the end or not so and I need to take this end time so I'm going to type here end time will be of a time interval and uh, I won't check the, for the error as well and it, this will be of error kind and uh, inside this what I'm going to do is uh, in what happens is if let let's say an error will be equal to the error and if that happened I'm going to print that error watch so let's say that's an error and at last what I need is I'm going to print uh, the end time of uh, the video watch which means it will print the what until what time I have watched that video so let's head over back here it's uh, I don't want here a question mark all right and uh, I'm going what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and uh, delete this and let's run and check uh, what uh, we have done so far all right I have here a start button over here which we made in our interface of storyboard and let's click that all right it's playing pretty cool and simple if I click done it will resign by itself let's play it again and if I click done it resigns it's very simple next I'm going to put a breakpoint over here in print and time so that I can check the time which have been watched the video so let's run and check I'm going to click the start movie button pause it clicking done here we go I have the endpoint time will be printed over here Here I can find the time. Let's drag a little bit up. It's 2.42 uh, seconds which have been watched. So that's all. It's a pretty simple and easy method. If you're doing watch time for the first time, you can just make a sample video player or a media player inside our watch or sample channel. So that's all in this video and in upcoming episodes we will try to make much more bigger watchers app and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet i recommend to subscribe it too that's all thank you for watching